Now we're working developing news out of New Bedford where the federal government has just approved the construction of a new marine terminal. It will be the first facility in the country designed to support the construction, assembly and deployment of offshore wind projects. I would assume supporter Catherine Sotnik has the details live with the southeastern Massachusetts mobile newsroom. Well, quite simply here tonight, this project potentially paves a way, the paves a way rather for Cape Wind to assemble their wind turbines in the port of New Bedford. Again, it potentially clears a way for this. It is something that Cape Wind has been waiting for, and it's a first step in that process. Calling it a historic day, the mayor of New Bedford announces that the Environmental Protection Agency, or EPA, has approved construction of the New Bedford Marine Commerce Terminal at the port of New Bedford. The terminal will be designed to support construction and assembly of offshore wind projects like Cape Wind. This will be the first place in America that is set up specifically for the assembly of offshore wind farms. So this is really a twofer. This project will help clean up the PCB contamination and it will also create this marine terminal that will support the offshore wind development. In addition to removing contaminants from the harbor, Mayor John Mitchell says the terminal will also allow the port to handle high volume bulk and container shipping. He also sees it as a boost to the local economy. Well, it means job opportunities. Uh, we've got to be ready for those opportunities. Uh, we, but with those pieces in place, uh, we will have jobs available, and that's, uh, that's very exciting. So a big day here in New Bedford, and you may remember that Cape Wind recently met with Governor Lincoln Chafee about potentially assembling those wind turbines in Quonset or Providence because Cape Wind was worried that New Bedford, this approval was taking too long, but here again, we have a major development. Reporting live from the Southeastern Massachusetts Mobile Newsroom from New Bedford, I'm Catherine Sotnik, Eyewitness News.